And good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Koontz. We begin with a developing story out of West Hartford this day. The Yukon campus in West Hartford received a bomb threat this morning, leading school officials to cancel all classes and events before noontime. For the very latest on what's going on, let's check in now with News 8's Annie Rourke, who is live in West Hartford. Annie. Keith, Yukon Police and State Police have now cleared the scene and the campus here in West Hartford is now back open. As you said, it had been closed for several hours this morning and students tell us they are not very happy about it. The only ones going in or out of the Yukon Greater Hartford campus are the police and bomb sniffing dogs. A bomb scare shut down the place early Wednesday morning. Junior John Muth says he normally gets the alerts, but didn't this time. I went to class and I just sat in the building and I realized about a half an hour in that there was nobody there. So I started to walk around and there was absolutely nobody there. The building had been evacuated, classes canceled, students left to fend for themselves. It's inconvenient. I'm from Massachusetts, so it's like a 45 minute drive and I'm stuck here till like 6 tonight and I don't know if I should go home or if I even have class at all. They are in the middle of exams here. The school year had already been pushed back because of snow days. Now this delay, some say it's getting ridiculous. It's inconvenient for me because if I had known, I could have gone to work, you know, or do something else and said I had to drive all the way out here. Now I have to sit here and wait to see if they reopen the campus. It is a problem that's plagued Yukon and West Hartford in the past. Last year during midterms, we're told there were two bomb scares in three days. For now, officials will only say they are investigating the matter. Students say it needs to stop. Yeah, there's always like speculation that someone just like didn't write their paper or didn't study, and that's why. But I mean, it's serious. They should take it seriously. Again, the incident is still under investigation, but the campus is now back open. Live in West Hartford, I'm Annie Rourke, News 8.